who was your role model when you were growing up and how that shaped your personality? Okay, I have actually two role models when I was growing up. I ha- I, there were two on the extreme sides. One was Mahatma Gandhi, uh, who believed in non-violence, and the other one was Bhagat Singh, who actually took violence to fight the, um, the, fight the British Raj. So they actually shaped me in two different ways. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi taught me the values of having uh, tolerance, um, whilst on the other hand, uh, with Bhagat Singh, I've learned that uh, a youth can actually shape the history and shape, um, shape the, even the big, uh, powerful imperial governments. Um, so it was um, a very conflicting um, philosophy both of them had, but uh, uh, I actually learned from both of them. You came to this country and then you wanted to enter business. Now, what business struggle you had and what kept you going? You know, when I came to this country, I had uh, no job, no money, no place to live. And my very, I very vividly remember my very first job. I went to South Hall and uh, looked around for a job. I went to a supermarket a small uh, cash and carry and asked for a job. Uh, this gentleman looked at me from up and down and he started to laugh and he said, this job is not for you. Those days I was much slimmer than what I am now and uh, he said, you must be from a, a city, educated young boy and um, I said, yes and he said, look, you can't do this job and I said, why not? And he showed me a lorry, there was a big lorry, and he said, see that lorry, that's full of 30 kilo sacks of potatoes and onions. And all that has to move from there to this side. And I said, yeah, no problem, I'll do it. And then, and then he showed me a big pile of rubbish, and there were pallets and, um, and all the rubbish, and I said, all that has to go from there to that lorry, and then you have to go with the driver and dump it. I said, yeah, no problem, I'll do this. So he gave me the job on a trial basis, so I worked, I worked very, very hard. The first day I worked, I got home and I thought, what I got myself into? It was very tiring. The whole day was working non-stop from nine o'clock in the morning till 10 at night. And, uh, but I struggled, got up next day, went again and again. Fourth day, he called me and he said, look, I underestimated you. I'm really very impressed with you. I'm going to confirm your employment with me. Not only that, he said, I'm going to give you payment from day one. Now, getting money out of an Indian businessman is very difficult. And I did that. And that was my first job. And then obviously I went and worked in the hotel industry right from the, from the ground level. And then I worked my way up. And then one day I thought, you know, I work so hard. I work normally six days, sometimes I work seven days. 13, 14, 15 hours a day. And why do for others? So I want to do for myself. And then I started my first business uh, buying a small hotel in central London. Um, and that's how I started into business. And now you are, um, you have many uh, McDonald branches in, in London. Um, you have a uh, big enterprise. I believe you provide training facilities as well. Um, so how do you feel? Uh, yeah, I'm successful um, business-wise, but uh, I will not say I have accomplished what I really want. I'm an ambitious person, uh, and therefore, uh, and I believe that once you feel satisfied, then you have no desire to do more and work harder. So I don't think I have accomplished everything. I'm still fairly young, uh, I like to think, and so I like to carry on working and accomplish more. And it's, for me, accomplishment is not that, you know, buying more restaurants, increasing my sales. But for me, accomplishment is to, to carry on doing the good work I do in the community as well as for my employees. Now, at the moment, I have over 2,000 employees. And for them, I'm a role model. And I want to take part in their development. And as they develop, I, I see them, a lot of them starting like me, at the ground level and they've grown to become managers and even area managers and I really feel so great sense of um, pride and accomplishment that I've been able to 
to make a difference in somebody's life. I, I do um, a lot of things. First of all, I um, donate a small percentage of my sales uh, to charities. And the other thing I do, I collect and raise money for charities by various activities. In the last um, seven, eight years, I think I've raised over £500,000 for charities. Um, and uh, I'll continue doing that. A couple of years ago, my son and I went to Sahara Desert and we walked four days across Chicago Dunes, uh, raising money for uh, a charity, which is very close to my heart. And we raised over £20,000. Uh, it was very hard work. I don't think I'm going to do it again because I'm not a very fit person. Um, but uh, I'll continue to do that. And the last year I raised, um, I launched my own Atul Patak Awards. What it does is that rather than giving money to charities, um, these charities, some of them were recommended by local people, my customers, my staff, and uh, we chose those charities. Not only are giving them um, financial donation, but also giving them one year partnership with my business. So some of the small charities don't have resources. They don't have, for example, HR team or marketing team or people who can advise them in marketing or other stuff. So I will give them support for my team. My staff will support them, giving them various, uh, various uh, support. At the same time, I'm giving them money to do the things that they'll do well. And in addition to that, they can use my facilities. I have a very big training center. They can use that for their meetings, uh, for their fundraising events. And also, whenever they need, we'll give them, um, give them free food as well. And the one other charity which was um, selected uh, was Ealing Pastors. Now, Ealing Pastors, what they do is they have a number of people at night and then they see the young people who are out on the street, whether they are a drunk or if they have in their influence of drugs or alcohol or they just feel vulnerable, they help them to, to find a safe place and find, uh, find uh, transportation. So we help those eating pastors to do their job and also eating pastors can bring these young people or even the older people or homeless people and we'll give them free, free drinks and also they can find a shelter, safe place in one of my restaurants whilst they've made arrangements for them to go. So we do a lot of things. Looking back, are there any things that you could have done better? Well, there are a lot of things I could have done better. Um, I could have um, studied more um, because my parents always very passionate about us, uh, we're three brothers, getting education. And I, I'm from a very humble uh, beginning, from a humble, very humble background. And I felt very sad that when my parents had to pay my college fees, university fees, they had to economize on the food they eat, economize on the, on the clothes and everything else. In India, where I've come from, it's very rare for children to actually study, while, um, to work while they're studying. I did that. I worked in a, in a restaurant. Uh, with the age of when I was 16, 17. Uh, a lot of my colleagues, my friends, uh, they used to make joke joke out of me. But that didn't deter me because uh, I felt very bad that my parents had to sacrifice for my education. So most of my education, the, the grad, up to graduation, was supported by myself. And uh, then later on, um, I thought, you no, know, maybe I should stop and then uh, get into work. Um, and then... I left, um, I left India um, and then came over to uh, UK. Um, but yeah, my uh, one regret is that I could have um, studied a little more than post-graduation, maybe MBA, uh, but I never could do that simply because I didn't have the resources and support uh, to do that. What else do you wish to do now? Well, I really want to... Um, make a difference in, 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 our, in my communities, in the communities where I work and where I live. Uh, my motto is, it's my responsibility to give something back to the communities I work in. I want to make a difference. At the same time, I want to do something where, where I, I was born in. I was born in India, so I still have a lot of affinity and close bond with India. So I want to continue doing something back home. In the past, I have done uh, I camps whereby I supported a camp 
uh, the doctor and doctors uh, I've taken some doctors from here or paid for doctors in India to do free eye operations for poor people so and I want to do more of that and so once I get more opportunity I want to make more difference into uh, the communities and the country where I was born as well as where I am now. Now you have a very um, unique combination that you have business success and you also um, have this social responsibility which you are um, discharging very well. Now did you always felt that this is going to be the combination? Um, no, um, not really, uh, to be honest. When I was struggling, um, this thing didn't cross my mind. Uh, um, but as I uh, started to get better in my life, and uh, even when I was working, and I thought really, it's uh, I need to do something, give something back. And one of the first thing I did was, um, uh, I did a skydiving jump. Um, even though I don't like heights, so I did a skydiving jump to raise some money for a charity. This was many years ago, I think 80 990 and um, in the process I uh, broke my right right foot and I was on crutches for six weeks but didn't deter me I went back and did four more jumps to raise more money for the charities until my wife said you, you're, you're crazy you can't do this because we are young children so I stopped doing the skydiving but then I started doing other things so I started around 8990 raising money for the charities at a small scale and then I worked very closely with Great Ormond Street uh, Children's Hospital. Uh, we raised money for them. Uh, I did various things. And then that really gave me a sense of um, satisfaction and sense of achievement. And I thought this is something great to do. And so I've actually carried on doing it. But now I'm fortunate enough to, to have the time and the resources uh, and the financial resources to do so. So I'm actually putting more resources into the into what I do for the community. Mm -hmm.